write 5 and 1 fourths as an improper fraction. So just as a reminder, an improper fraction is one where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So improper fraction means that the numerator, and actually I should say the absolute value of the numerator, is greater than or equal to the absolute value of the denominator. Nominator. I could have just shortened it, but that you get the idea. The numerator is greater than or equal to the absolute, or the absolute value of the numerator is greater than or equal to the absolute value of the denominator. In this situ situation right here, it's a mixed number. We have it as a combination of 5, which is just a whole number, and 1 fourth, which is a proper fraction, because the numerator is less than the denominator. The absolute value of the numerator is less than the absolute value of the denominator. So to write it as an improper fraction, and I'll show you kind of the methodology for doing it, and then we'll for doing it, and then we'll talk a little bit about why that methodology works. So five and one fourth, the methodology is pretty straightforward. You say, okay, five, the whole number five, that is the same thing as twenty over four, and so twenty over four plus one over four is twenty one over four. Or another way to think about it is five times four is twenty, plus one is twenty one. 21 over 4. So that's the methodology. Pretty straightforward. And I want to I'm going to draw it out so it makes a little bit more sense. So once again, you take the mixed number, or you take the whole part of the mixed number, you multiply it times the denominator, you get 20, and then you add that 20 to 1, you get 21 over 4. And now it's an improper fraction. The absolute value of our numerator is greater than the absolute value of our denominator. Now I do want to show you why this works. So to see why this works. Let's think about what 5 and 1 fourths means. It means we have five holes. So let's say that this is a hole. So that's one hole. And let me copy and paste it five times. So copy, and then let me paste it. Let me paste it. So that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, and then that is 5. So we have five holes, so that's that's this stuff that I've drawn in green. So let me make it. That's five holes right there. And then we have one fourth. And then we have and then we have one fourth. So I'll do one fourth of a hole. So one fourth of a hole will look like that. And just to be clear that it's part of a hole, I could have drawn the hole. I'll draw the hole in a dotted line to say that we don't have that hole. We have only one fourth of it, and that's that one fourth. So this is five and one fourths. So to write it as an improper fraction, you can really view this five as some fraction over four. And to think of it that way, divide each of these into fourths. Or this is one way to think about it. So this is this right over here is four fourths. This is another four fourths. This is another four fourths. I should have copied and pasted this. This is another four fourths. And this is another 4 fourths. So now, how many fourths do we have? How many fourths? We have 4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, and 4 fourths here. So just what we have in green, just in what we have in green, we have 20 fourths. We have 20 fourths. That's what we have in green right over here. That is the same thing as 5. Each of these are 4 fourths. So this is you could view this as 5. You could view this as 5 times 4 fourths, right? 4 fourths is 1. 5 times 4 fourths is 20 over 4. That's what we have right over here. And then now we can add it to that 1 fourth. Now you can add it to that 1 fourth, and you will get 21. We have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerators. 21 over 4. So that's the conceptual understanding of why it works. But when you see any mixed number, it's a pretty straightforward process. Multiply the 5 times 4, you get 20. 20 plus 1 is equal to 21 over 4. And actually, let me just write that out just so you get clear on what I'm doing. So 5 and 1 fourths, that is the same thing as e that's equal to 5 times 4 plus 1 over 4. And this is why.